I fear that our time has long passed. What was once a loving relationship between a gamer and a hard drive must come to an end at some point. I must put you away. My childish times I must put away, for I have a new love. Fear not. I will still have you as a backup drive. But today I graduate. Today, my Kingston HyperX 3K 240 gigabyte must shine. I will bring you along on my magical journey. You and I will work together to install Windows 8.1 on this hard drive. Gear up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. I'm ready. Alright guys, Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 8.1 uh, because I'm doing a review on the Kingston 3K HyperX 240GB SSD. So I've had this installed now for almost about a year and there comes a time when you have to reform it do it again either because your install has become corrupt or you got a brand new hard drive in this case I got a brand new hard drive and I don't want to transfer over the information so rather than doing that I'm gonna go ahead and install Windows let's go ahead and restart Windows so mind you I still have the old hard drive in there and I'm still gonna use it just not for Windows so here we're going to go ahead and boot into the BIOS. So I'm pressing delete to go into the BIOS. Mind you, your BIOS may be different than mine. So now I'm going to go to boot and change the main startup drive. I'm going to change my Intel SSD to my Kingston. So I'm going to move it up. Alright, so now my Kingston is my main drive, so I'm going to go ahead and back out of here once. We see here that it is again my main drive, so I'm going to go ahead and hit F10 to save and exit. Yes, and now let's go ahead and boot to my CD-ROM or my DVD. My particular board, it's F8 to get to the boot uh, device menu. Yours may be different. My Windows 8 DVD is inside of my Blu-ray drive, so I'm going to go ahead and select that one and press enter because it detects that my main drive doesn't have a Windows partition on it. It has a partition because I did some testing on it prior to the install, but I'm done with that testing. Now I'm going to install Windows 8.1. Actually, it's going to be 8 and I'm going to upgrade it to 8.1. Now you have to be very careful when you install Windows that you don't delete an older partition so you don't lose data. So here, Windows 8, you click Next, Install Now, and the product key, which I will blank out. Okay, now after clicking Next, read through the licensing agreement. Of course I've read it. I will accept the licensing terms. Next. I will do a custom because I'm not upgrading, so custom. Now I have to select my drive. You can see I have a ton of them here. So this is my Kingston drive. I'm going to go ahead and delete that partition. Again, it was for testing. Okay, and now I'm going to go back to that partition and click Next. Alright, now is the copying process. It's copying all the data onto the hard drive and then it's going to decompress them from the hard drive and com continue the install. This is going to take a little while.
So now, after copying all the files over, it's doing its decompression and getting the computer ready for its next step. Alright, so that took a lot less time than I thought it would. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. It's my PC. And never choose Express Settings. Go to Customize. Windows Updates. Don't set up Windows update, Updates. I'm going to do it myself. Sure, why not? No, thank you. Yeah. I'm not going to use any of this stuff, so, but I'll leave it enabled. You can always disable it later in the OS. Next. Help improve. Sorry, Microsoft. No, thanks. Help Microsoft respond to malicious... Uh, no, thanks. Help Microsoft improve. No thanks, you guys get paid a lot of money to improve. Participate in the customer experience improvement. Uh, no thanks. Uh, no thanks. So, next. Sure, but whatever. Um, sure. Sure, it's not a mobile device. Alright, you gotta enter your username, password, re enter password, password hit. I'm going to skip it. Hi. Thank you. Ooh, I'm excited. Uh huh. Okay. But that is so horrible. Took me a little while to get used to 8.1, but yeah, the little charms on the side, not a big fan of that. Alright, so you're about done. Now, of course, you have to copy over all your drivers, install all your drivers, but it's really that easy nowadays to install Windows. Pop it in, select what drive you want. Partition it if you want to partition it. And you're basically done. Oops, sorry about that. So it's gotten that easy. You know, you pop in your disk. If you want to install by disk, some people prefer to install through thumb drives. However you want to install it, it's there. Pop in your, your disk into your optical drive. Start the install. Tell it what drive to install off to. And then you're done. You know, you might have to do a little uh, copying, uh, some downloading for drivers, but... Windows the way it is now, that's pretty much it. All you really have to do is now install your drivers, install all your programs, and you're pretty much done. Um, some of you may not know how to do it. Windows does come with some built-in drivers that might or might not support your current hardware. If they do, great. If they don't, oh well, both ways. I would recommend downloading the latest and greatest drivers. Never use what they have on there because they're not really meant for performance. Aside from that, we're pretty much done. Um, again, Iggy with Dragon Blogger installing on the Kingston HyperX 3K 240GB SSD. Alright, talk to you guys later.